फादर जो आसवा मात्र आम भी आगे शुणुलु पूरी पारिश को जो फादर आसा मसीहा पेजेज आफ्टर पेजेज कैन भी रिटर्न अफ टोल इन ग्लोरीफिकेसन अफ फादर आम कुष्ठ रोगी मान जीवता भगवान फादर यूज टू टेल मी वि फर देम बिकज दे हाव नो वन एल्स हि लिवड ओनली फर दिस पर्पज टू लव देम एंड टू सर्व देम एंड टू गिव देम द डिग्निटी अफ बिकमिंग चिलड्रेन अफ गाड He was a godsend messiah for international brotherhood and peace. तंकरो सबु तो बडो गुण थिला फादर गरो से सत्य को बहुत भल पाउथिले आ से लोक को देखि के ता गुण को जानि जाउथिले ऐश्वर्य गुण प्रकाश करंती सेडा म तांको थारो देख देखिया को पाइ छि बढ़िया सुंदर कथा ता करो से कथा देले आमो मन परिवर्तन हे जाय He loved people irrespective of their language their social status and their religion father mor gote mahan purusha thile je na hole mu banchi na thanti mu bi swarga dwara jai thanti ette pidita thili mu mor prabhu se if somebody is saying father one person's face is always coming before us and that face is the face of father marian zelazek svd father marian was born on 30th january 1918 in Poznan in Poland During the Second World War he was a young novice Very soon he was forced into a Nazi concentration camp where he was imprisoned for 5 years though not a soldier. Życie było takim powolnym powolnym dobijaniem głód potem się praca później <coughs> później żeśmy później przyszły choroby i to tak jeden za drugim pciu tenko ci tenko umierali to na na 26 14 His life in the cruel and merciless conditions of the concentration camp at Dachau laid a solid foundation for his future life as a priest, missionary, and a servant of God and the people. During his experiences in the camp, he learned to value and cherish all life and be compassionate to all, especially the suffering. Father Marian says that he had died a thousand times in Dachau and his liberation from the camp was an opportunity given to him to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. O mnie zawsze to porywało tylu widział gdy widział moich współbraci którzy konali tam umierali a potem i innych księży którzy umierali to tak raczej przychodziła zawsze myśl że muszę muszę ich zastąpić. Dla mnie to było, ja by powiedzieć, płacenie długu wdzięczności za odzyskanie życia, życia ziemskiego, ratować, pomagać drugim ludziom. He was ordained a priest in the Society of the Divine Word on 18th September 1948. After his ordination, he was assigned to Sambalpur Mission in Odisha, India in 1950. While he was in Sambalpur, he distinguished himself as an efficient and zealous missionary, an ardent educationist, and an advocate for the cause of tribal Christians and the people of the region. As a promoter of vocations, he was responsible for opening a minor seminary in the diocese of Sambalpur.
Father Mariano was born in Poland, but he was very much a real Indian. He loved India, adopted the Indian way of life, served the Indians, and always felt proud of being an Indian. He was a linguist who could speak with ease at least three Indian languages, Hindi, Oriya, and Sadri. Though he was a Catholic priest, many of the head priests of this town, including the head priest of Lord Jagannath, were his closest friends. Father Marian Zalazek started the SVD mission at Puri, Odisha, India, on 1st June 1975. Visiting Puri city, he found people with leprosy in unhygienic conditions, begging by the roadside for alms from tourists and motorists without any shelter to cover them. Nobody would assist them in their medical or material needs for fear of catching the disease or being made unclean. They were ostracized by society. They could not earn a living or find food to eat. Father Marion, shocked by what he saw, dedicated his life to the care and rehabilitation of the leprosy patients of Puri. आउ गारु जतबेले आमे आस्तिलु बहुत हैरान होइकिरि आस्तिलु माने केमिति रहिबा कुआडे जिबा एमति कि निजर लोक बि मध्य से माने पर कर देले माने आमे जदि तमुकु मिसेइबु ताले अन्य लोक आमुकु तळई देबिनी आमो समाज रे तापरे विभिन्न प्रकार हैरान करले से बारीक बाळ काटिबोनी से गडिया रे गाधेई परिबोनी एमति विभिन्न प्रकार हैरान करले जिमति गोटे लोक र तिक्त मन भाव आसिले से पळईबो तार छाडीकिरि सबु आउ यही प्रकार कले तेनु फादर मेरियन हमकु बहुत सहाय्य करजंदी न जदि हमकु केही हमकु आश्रय देइ नथिले जत घरु आसिलु सत बेला हमर आकाश छेडी पडथला हमें जानि नथिलु हम घर कोड रहिबो केमिति मरिबो कि बंचु हमें से घर रो प्रश्न हमें सत बेला जानो लोक पाखरे बसो नथिले लोक हमकु घृणा करी लोक नाकरे लुगा देकि लोक बे हमकु जाउथले किंतु फादर हमकु बहुत सहाय्य करिबारु हमें सत रे उपकृत हेइछु in 1975, the same year, the district magistrate and collector of Puri asked Father Marian to take care of medical needs of leprosy patients of the district. Father Marian started a small dispensary for the purpose of treating people. And he called this place Karunalaya which means home of mercy and compassion. Later on, it embraced leprosy patients from all over the state of Odisha and the neighboring states. The dispensary was later made into 20 bed short stay home with medical facilities where patients could be admitted and treated for the ulcers caused by leprosy or any other general illnesses. The gill the lighting, etc. so strong he was having for the cause of leprosy. He was loving leprosy patient too much. Father Marian deliberately avoided the use of gloves while treating his patients so that they could feel that they could be touched and accepted just the way they were. Father used to tell me, Sister Pushpa, we are meant for these people. They are rejected in society and so dejected in life. They need our care, they need our love. 
we are meant for them. And the way he moved about for the working these people was something I do not know how to express. He touched them. Uh, he served them. He nursed their wounds. He visited their family. He sat with them and uh, drank the coffee that they gave. I am not sure if you are a good person. I am not sure if you are a good person. I am not sure if you are a good person. I am not sure if you are a good person. I am not sure if you are a good person. I I have seen him experienced his commitment to these people who were his beloved ones and they always called him in our state language Odia, Bapa means beloved daddy and he was truly a daddy for especially the poorest of the poor, the lepers who were neglected by everyone uncared and loved and because of Father Mariano Zelazek's love they experienced God's unconditional love. Even when he was very sick, not able to come out of bed due to fever or heart trouble, he would come out of pit and go for doing good for these people. He was a good school teacher, a Catholic priest, a social worker, and most importantly, he was a lover of people. as a result of his selfless and dedicated service of 31 years in Puri. The community of leprosy patients has today a well-organized colony with a population of over 1,000 leprosy patients. Leprosy is the problem, you, we can cure the patient, but that is half work done. Motto should be that patient should be cured of the disease and he should be back to the society without any stigma, hatred or anything. It was necessary to help them stand on their feet and feel a sense of usefulness and dignity. So Father Marion started self-help programs like weaving, bandage making, rope making, sewing, gardening, and chicken farming. Like poultry farm, there was a time that we were going on, running on loss. Instead to have 
all these chicks at the seven rupees, we were, 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 were had to add it, but it was mismanagement. Then I sucked those fellows, and now it's... We have 1,600 chicks here. We purchase one day chicks, and after 45 days they get ready to sell. Huh. Our selling market, hotels, and uh, locals. Yeah. Uh, how much price are we having in the bank? Capital, no? One lakh and forty thousand. Ah, no, One lakh rupees uh, fixed deposit. <laughs> Scarf,